Dustin the turkey. Dustin the turkey. Oh, hi. It's nice to see you again. Well, I'm back, and I keep saying I'm back, but I don't really go anywhere, but I take days here and there. I was going to put out like 17 videos on Sunday, but I couldn't upload anything. Um, I made a bunch of videos, didn't upload them all. I got like four uploaded, and one got blocked. Actually, I did five, and two got blocked. So uh, uh, I only came out with three, and I intended to do a lot more, but YouTube was taking like four to six hours to process, and it was down. Content creators were having troubles uploading, so uh, that's why it was delayed on Sunday, and the rest of the week I've just been busy with work. But I'm still not going anywhere, and I am going to have a consistent schedule at least once I get my second job done here at the end of the month. Uh, so it'll be a little here and there until then, but I'll be very consistent afterwards because consistency is key. Uh, so let's take a look right now at Ireland. Uh, I believe this is, I have to look, again, 2008 semifinal one, uh, Dustin the Turkey. It's been recommended to me by many people, who's actually one of the first recommendations and has been recently recommended again. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Marie. Uh I was told I was going to enjoy this. He was actually a popular like children's show commodity in Ireland or something like that. And he even had a number one song in Ireland or something like that. Uh, but this is considered one of the weirdest Eurovision uh, entries of all time. So I'm really excited to see just exactly what we're getting ourselves into here. So let's take a look at Dustin the Turkey. I can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> Dustin the turkey. Oh. Deuce Pois. He's got potatoes on his little cart there. Do you want some turkey action, Paris? I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Don't forget the Swiss. Cheers. <laughs> 
don't forget the Swiss. <laughs> Who the hell boos a turkey? I hear boos. <laughs> it's just a freaking... That was... Again, I'm crying because it's so funny. I think I saw on his little cart there they have all the different languages to say hello or something like that too. I can't see it very well there because the video is so blurry, but... Oh my gosh, what did I just watch? Um, yeah, that is... I heard from people saying that they mailed it in this year because they didn't have the money to host or they didn't want to host the contest. And I'd say probably that was right. <laughs> this is a disaster, but it's a beautiful disaster. It's hilarious. This is the kind of thing that's just completely fun. And uh, as I'm listening to it, I'm just like, oh, man, the singing and stuff. But I think listening to this a couple of times, it would definitely be a guilty pleasure of the year for me, for sure. Um this is the kind of weird humor that I appreciate, so <laughs> I really like it. Kind of like I liked uh, Sylvia Knight with Iceland the other day. Uh, looking at that, that was hilarious. Uh, <laughs> I still got that song stuck in my head, and I'm probably going to have this shipwreck stuck in my head, too. <laughs> it's just, it's ridiculous, but it's funny. I like it. It's lighthearted. It's fun. You know, vote for me, 12 points kind of thing. Um Talking about all the countries in the contest, I don't know how many he hit, I wasn't counting, but I wonder if he got all of them throughout that, that participated in 2008. <laughs> it is uh, hilarious uh, in a weird way. I love all the Irish decorations. I'm like, he's got, a po he's got potatoes on his little cart and everything, all these Irish things. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to check out his song that hit number one. Uh, it's quite impressive. Um, if any of you have heard of the, what is it? Um, I'm a fan of the puppet dog, uh, Triumph, the insult comic. I'm a fan of that. He goes around and does interviews and makes fun of everybody he interviews. It's really funny. And this kind of reminds me of that, except He's singing on stage rather than being an insult comic, but uh, gosh, it's just funny. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's right up there with my sense of humor. I like the weird, strange humor like that. So uh, <laughs> it's a good way to put me in the mood to make some videos and look at some songs because uh, I like starting out with something happy or goofy or crazy. So if you have any other suggestions of crazy, happy, goofy, I've, I've got a list of some, but uh, make sure uh, you leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to look at them. This was pretty hilarious, I gotta say. So thank you for the recommendation. I'm going to uh, be looking at some other songs today, more serious songs. Now I've still got tears in my eyes just because I was laughing. Um, <laughs> I've got some other songs to look at today. Uh, I'll do a couple more before going to bed. And I uh, also want to get that Harry Potter sorting hat quiz done that I promised. Um, I had to register, so I had to push it back a little bit. But I have a bet with my friend, the reason why I'm doing that. So um, I'll explain it in that video. But look for that. Look for others later today. So for now, Lethargic Sloth, out. And, oh, let me know what you think of this, because I really want to know your opinion. Do you think it's stupid? Do you think it's funny? Were you laughing? Were you just, like, shaking your head? Uh, let me know what you think of this, because uh, I think there's probably a lot of different opinions of this. So you saw me laughing until I cry. So uh, <laughs> that was basically my opinion of Dust in the Turkey. So let me know in the comment section below. And again, for now, Lethargic Sloth, out.